Welcome to A-Town Reviews. Today I'm reviewing another classic horror film, The Exorcist. When a little girl is believed to be possessed by the devil, a priest makes a request to perform an exorcism, and the church sends in an expert to help with the overwhelming job. So, wow, I was told that this movie was scary, but I was not prepared for how scary this movie actually is. Even for today's standards, this movie is really disturbing, but in a good way. It was definitely ahead of its time. This is an older movie, it came out in the 70s, so there wasn't a reliance on jump scares. All the fear and tension instead came from the atmosphere and the tone of the film, and the tone was especially dark. It was also the horrific things the demon would do to itself. When it took a cross and it started stabbing, it's, you know, like I screamed for five minutes. This movie definitely pushes boundaries. The makeup that they used for the demon girl was so disturbingly amazing. Because every time it popped up on the screen, I had to look away because this is the face that would pop up on the screen of those stupid jump scare videos that get me so mad. My sister would tag me all the time with videos like that and that face would pop up and it traumatizes me to this day. This movie came out in the 70s and that face still scares people to this day. And if that isn't effective makeup design for a horror movie, I don't know what is. This movie sets itself up really well. It does take a while to actually get to the demon possessing the little girl, but beforehand there's a lot of really good buildup that lets you know what you're about to get into. My favorite part was when the expert is at this dig site in Iraq and he comes across this demon statue and he has this epic stare down with this statue. Like the wind starts blowing crazy and this creepy demon music starts playing and he's just staring the statue down and it feels like a weigh-in before a UFC fight and the two fighters are talking mess to each other because I just feel this excitement building up inside me and I'm just like, ooh, I can't wait for them to just go at each other. And then when they actually do meet towards the end of the movie, they go to battle. Like, metaphorically speaking, it's just an exorcism. But all that build-up really pays off at the end. Overall, I can see why this movie had a lot of controversy back in the day. Because it's really disturbing. But it's also really dang good. It's a fun ride that leaves you excited for more. Like a roller coaster. Thanks for watching my review. Click on these videos to watch more reviews. And if you haven't already, click on my face to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything.